Hey there, everybody. Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you episode eight of my Total War Warhammer 3 Marathi Cult of Pleasure uh, Immortal Empires a Let's Play series, where things are going things are going rather well. We're at, we're at war with a bunch of people, but that's OK. Well, I mean, not even that that many. Um, we're at war with, uh, you know, some of the uh, Hiles over here. We're dealing with um, the uh, Tomb Kings over here. Uh, I, I I'm a little worried about um, uh, the drowned. Is that what they're called again? Uh, I think they're just called yeah. Oh, the drowned. Yeah, from the Vampire Coast here. If she takes the temple here, I I want it because it's part of my territory. So I might end up going to war with them. I don't know. Just go to war with all the peoples, with all the with all the races. That's what we'll end up doing. Um, but uh, yeah, we're currently uh, dealing with uh, uh, Tomb Kings. They got some decent sized armies up here. I don't know. I think I might. You can't make it this turn, Marathi, but I might start sending you towards that way just to kind of maybe deter them a little bit. I don't know. We'll find out. Lots of things uh, I want to do. And uh, yeah, not a lot of not a lot of money right now. That's my big thing is I'm I'm, I'm kind of not making a lot, uh, but we'll see if we can change that. Also want to um, say thank you guys so much for uh, watching the series so far. I think you guys are uh, enjoying it. So thank you guys so much for all the uh, comments, likes, watch, views, all that fun stuff. I uh, will definitely keep this series coming because uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, I may even be doing another um, uh, campaign after this one or, or something like that. But yeah, I definitely want this one to come a few times a week. Uh, my plan for this series is actually I'll be recording like um, a few episodes in a row. Um, so if I don't talk about the comments from the last few episodes, it's because I did like th three or four in a row. Uh, that's why. Uh, but I do want to give a, a quick uh, shout out to. Um, uh, um, again, I'm going to I'm going to butcher these names and I apologize. Uh, but Sav as uh, Sav as uh, Lampi Laprinos Laprinos. Sorry. Uh, you're saying a uh, campaign after this, uh, brother. Uh, I'm tempted to. I, I do like the Empire uh, and I'm thinking of maybe like a Carl Flan Franz one here or even um, oh, the. Um, the the guy, oh, why can't I remember his name with the, the Jade Griffin thing? He's standing down in the uh, Badlands. Uh, he's got some cool mechanics, so maybe one of them. We'll see. Uh, also had a Orion a Theta one say lots of gold uh, for plunder in the oceans and also telling me uh, I should use the channel magic, which I totally keep forgetting about this stance uh, because it's one of those things I never really think about, but it doesn't. I always kept thinking it got rid of a bunch of your um, uh your, your actual movement, it doesn't. I can use it and it doesn't actually take up anything. In fact, it gives me replenishment in foreign territory um, and it lets me, I keep forgetting, it lets me um, uh, grab from different places with this this stance. So this is something I need to, uh, uh, to do more often. I believe if I go off of it, oh no, maybe I can still do that, Never mind. Maybe I can do it in foreign territory. Um, but yeah, enables replenishment in foreign territory, campaign movement range penalty. Sorry, 10%. Um, so I move 10% less. Uh, but I get more wins of pad wins of uh, a power reserve. So do lose 10%. But that's not very much. That's not very much at all. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, and Orion, yeah, again in the next video, you said in episode seven, you said the best uh best to channel uh the stance uh in the game map, not the battle map. So yeah, I've got to make sure I do that. Right, so I do that. Um I'll go also had Lu uh, Lucas. Uh, Pritchard, hopefully I'm saying again saying that right. Uh, mentioning that if I want more Slanesh troops, I should butter up to a Slanesh faction and get a defensive pack um, for an outpost. And I can recruit their locally available troops. And if you want uh, all of their troops, uh, military alliances can uh, and an upgraded um, uh, outpost can get that. So I think I'm going to do that right now because I've got um, uh, Nakari here. If I go to Nakari, I can actually get I can actually get a military alliance with you. So let's actually do that because I want Slanesh troops. It, I mean, this may end up um, screwing me over in the end, but we'll see. And can I build? So do I build it in my territory and their territory? How does it work?
Do I just automatically get? Do I have to wait a turn? We'll find out. Um, let's actually. Well, we're here. Let's do a quick deal. You do not aggression. I don't want that. You do trade. Uh, trade might actually be good for me. Um. Behold the black core. Few see its splendor and live to tell of it. I get eighty six. So I get eighty six. If they get four hundred and thirty eight a turn, and I get eighty six. I think that's how that works. Or maybe I'd get for it. Hmm. But they don't want it. And I don't have enough money to give it to them. Okay, so we'll 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 figure this out. Uh how this uh this whole works with the getting uh more troops from them. Either way, I mean I get a military alliance with Nakari, that's fine. Actually, does anyone else want any alliances or anything like that? No one wants peace with me or anything like that? Okay. So again, thank you everyone for your awesome comments. Keep them coming because I definitely um, <laughs> need to learn how to play this game a little better. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right, let's use you and let's try to assassinate. Success. Mm. Yeah, all the assassination. Um, Marathi. Let's go to the channeling stance. And go into the enemy territory. Let's see, can I... Oh, I can't recruit in their territory. That's fine. That is fine. You're going to come behind Marathi to kind of... Oh, actually, you're going to go extra behind here. And maybe... Grab... Because I can. Let's grab another... Unit of Harpies. Yes, an extra unit of Harpies. That works for me. You are going to stay here. Actually, I need to. Is there any watery stuff around here? Not really. Not close to me. I'm going to stay here just to kind of keep an eye on things. Uh, let's go to my other uh, character here. Slaughter. What are we doing? Let's see. We. I'm going to wait one more turn for an extra uh, pair of siege towers. Actually, are you taking attrition yet? You are taking attrition. Okay. I might I might not even have to fight that battle. All right. So let's uh, end turn and see how the enemy responds to all the stuff we got going on. And see if the drown take this territory, which I... Oh, why can I not... I'm so bad at remembering names. I apologize so much. Um. Oh, I think she took the temple. Uh-oh. You know what that means. I have to go to war with you so I can take the temple back because I want that province and I'm being selfish. Oh, there we go. Ally begins a uh, uh, post construction. There we go. You got it against us. Oh, my gosh. All, all of the uh, high elves are wanting to take us out here. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They've even uh, started coming out to us. That's that's not good. That is very not good. Uh, considering you've got almost a full stack, and I do not. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do... Can I... I wonder... Because... Can I move you closer to the water? Closer to here, because because you're in the water and like these these cliffs and stuff. If I have you close enough to them, will they actually join me it, on the battlefield? I don't know. Right, let's continue that siege. I might just siege you out. Only three more turns. You can't build a big enough army there. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about the drowned yet. I'm gonna head back. It is well. I tame the untamable. Um black hearted. Sail damn you. The mother. And over here. I actually might try to take out these uh oh, maybe I can't join because I'm in that stance. Lord of the wild things. Heal beasts of Maybe I can't do it anyways. 
Let's go back into the channeling stance here. See if I can join them if they do attack me or anything like that. Besides that, I'm worried about funds. Uh, let's do that to give myself a little bit of money. That's in the moon shard, which I don't want because the moon shard wants a walled city. That takes that's going to take a lot of money. Black Hole Fortress, you. You know what? I'm going to take this hit on slaves and try to get some more money going because that's my issue right now is I've got no funds. Uh, we're actually going to have you join this group here. Yeah, I don't think I think if you do fight, you're gonna be fighting on your own. Oh, well, we'll we'll see what the high elves do here. I'm a little kind of a little worried right now. Not gonna lie. Maybe I sh should have moved you more north in this kind of. Uh... Yeah, the high elves all going to war with me. It definitely could be a problem. Uh oh, Are your allies been attacked. Well, I mean, sure, let's do it. I'm at war with all the other high elves, might as well, right? All right. Ooh, uh, during the monthly court meeting, one of your lords brings forth a chest full of gold. Uh, pompously, they declare it as a tribute to the crown. Of course, they hope for a glimpse of your favor and the prestige that uh, it brings amongst his peers. So I get more gold for loyalty. Uh, what is their loyalty right now? Rank one, uh, treasury, uh, plus two, uh, uh, eyes everyone else's taxes. So lords have a chance to lose, uh, loyalty, but income from old buildings, uh, plus 10 faction wide, or I can get 5,000 loyalty, um, and just pay him five right now. What is his, what is his loyalty right now? Oh, 10 out of 10. Okay. You can take the five loyalty hit. Let's do that. I want to raise your taxes. So your loyalty is down to five, but it's still good. Um, and I think I just put an assassin in your your uh, things. So you have a chance of getting loyalty every turn. Where did that high elf army go? It went away. OK, good. Good, 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 good. So what we're going to do, and you're going to come back over here. I got 5000 gold. Which means I'm going to upgrade some stuff. I'm going to upgrade the moon shard because I want to make sure you get safe. I mean, I know it might be better to upgrade some other things first, but I want to make sure that you're safe. Um, use this to get some exalted. Um, no, I'm not worried about that right now. Yes, yeah, upgrade uh, my dark hold. Or sorry, um, uh, the uh, Vol's Anvil here. Upgrade that. Leaves you little, uh, with a, bit, a little bit of money. Not a lot, but enough to maybe get... This is a bolt or 82. I can actually get a couple bolt doors. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to upgrade the Vol yet. I'm going to upgrade another bolt door. I can afford a couple. There's just a little bit more than a unit of harpies. Let's grab a couple of units of harpies. It's going to be tanking my economy, but that's okay. Because we're going to do this and raid. Get a little bit of money here. And then we're going to have Marathi come up here too. So we're doing a little bit of raiding here. And then they're within range uh, to target these things. We can also do some more building over here the layer here what can we do let's uh, do that to get a little bit more turn again i'm gonna be losing like 100 and some slaves a turn and i got you guys here too which i probably should have dealt with but meh we'll deal with the beastmen later famous last words eh i have a great many things to see to. oh are you calling war on me nope you want a non-aggression pack and you'll pay me a thousand for it um You know what? Sure, I can 
I can go back on it in like 10 turns. So I'll take it for now, just for the extra gold. Just for the extra gold right now. Maybe I don't want to fast forward. Oh, are you? No, you're still just raiding. The wild hunt begins. That's okay. Um, let's see. Carry out the assassination attempt. Wound or kill against someone. Oh. Do not betray your you right here. Okay. We can do that. Heal, beast of Druki. Assassinate you. I get the terrifying mask of E. <laughs> you not? Oh, it is successful. Yay. I get 600 treasury because I did it within six turns. And I get the terrifying mask of E. It causes fear and terror. That is awesome. I love the name. Never look upon the terrifying mask of E. You don't know what you might see. I love that name. That is the best name for a mask ever. Okay, so they just kind of left this area. So we are going to take the Venom Glade. Yeah, we are. We're going to take the Venom Glade right now. I'm going to encircle quickly because I'm going to bring you along, which you are not going to, you're going to stop raiding. You're going to come here. We're just going to auto resolve this because again, quick little fight, but we brought him closer so we can get some more experience. Oh, we got the banner of murder. So speed, charge bonus and uh. Charge bonus plus 10 and, char and charge bonus plus 10%. Interesting. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Okay. You're doing all right. Let's see what I can build here. Let's build this for some extra income. Let's see what else we can find here. Sure, let's build... Two bolts, large cluster of magical souls. Which is the best? Or do I want to just get this rank? Rank plus one for armies in circle of influence. Unit experience. A recruit rank plus one. Mm. I don't want to be able to get shades or dark riders. Two, three, four, five. I have five more spots. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No. One. I definitely want to get this. One. Yeah, I'm going to... One, two, three. Leaves me with two. Let's see, there's the they're all bombardments. Let's do that one with two lightning strikes, sure. And I can always like change that up later. All right. Oops, someone leveled up. Who leveled up? My fire sorceress? Oh, you here? Okay. Well, we're gonna put that money into Firestorm because I love those abilities. How are things going here? Um, one more turn and they are going to be, uh, uh, attrition wipes. So let's just, let's just do that. I haven't done that in a long time. Just wipe them out with attrition. We're building up an army here, but that's okay. I think I can take them there. Oh yeah. I'm got you guys going. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, please tell me that, uh, you win this fight, Nakari. Yes, you did. Okay, good. Yeah, keep them keep them uh, pushed back a little bit. That's awesome. Oh, we can even uh, go in for the kill. Good job. Look at you. Hiles here getting getting too strong. What they're doing? Ooh. <gasps> uh oh. The mother of the oh, what would you like? Your request. 
Mother of the... I'm literally your mother. Ooh, non-aggression pack. Well, let's counter this offer. Now I've got a non-aggression pack with uh, Malekith, which is just what I wanted, because I want to more than anything. Oh, you guys want to fight. I'm just going to auto-resolve this, because that's that's not point. No point. Occupy that. Too much auto-resolve this battle, this episode. I'm sorry about that. Ooh, it looks like we got a fight coming here, though. Ooh, this might be a tough one. Yep, they're coming with double stacks. They, you baited me into a trap, didn't you? Didn't you? Uh-oh. <gasps> and you, because, oh no, you 100% did bait me into a trap. Because my, you've sieged the, the city, so now I can't get my allies from the city to help out with this fight. This is going to go bad, but we're going to fight this on the battlefield. So this, we're, we're not going to win this one, but we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to try to take as much as they, we can out. Uh, we do have our bombardment abilities. We are fast, um, but they've got a lot of carrions here, which are also their fast war beasts. But we'll see how this goes. So let's um, fight this one on the battlefield. All right, and it's my favorite battlefield, of course. Why wouldn't it be this battlefield? Um, uh, Arena Net, you need to, you need to, you need to get get more, more, more uh, uh, battlefields. All right. Let's see, I've got my harpies over here. What am I going to do with you guys? Uh, I've got my dark riders. You gotta be, because I can't really go for the water because that uh, will slow them down and stuff. My chariots are ranged too, so I got all my range. You're my only, I only have one foot unit and it's my beast master. Okay, well, let's see. Actually, I just kind of got to hold them off for a little bit. I'm going to try to harass them a little bit with my... Um, with my uh, shooting units here. A little bit first. Got to keep them around for 45 minutes, or 45 seconds. I wonder if my harpies. Massacre them. Come on, do some damage here. Dark Rider crossbow. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of here. Advancing. Harpies. Deal with their carrions. Their bows are longer range than me, but now I got my. Bombardment abilities. Please actually hit. Yeah. That does some damage. Should you get the carrions? Take out their lord. That could actually help us help me out quite a bit. There we go. My harpies are in there. Chariots. Nagarothi. End them. Druki, forward. If I could take out their lord, that would be awesome, actually. Harpies are doing some fighting over there. Turn off skirmish mode so we can start shooting. Do I have any abilities? I do. That on them. They have a unit that is um, going away soon. Let us just charge through here. Oh, here we go. Come on, bombardments. Where's the kill? Dark Riders, death is coming. There you go, let's get you guys all out of here. Just kind of hoping we could take out the Lord or something like that. That would have been awesome. 
Harpies are doing some damage. Our lord's in trouble. We are ready. Death. Destroy. Them. Try to come around a little bit. Waiting for a bombardment spell. That'd be awesome. Try to charge you guys through here. If I can keep their... Oh, here we go. Do a bunch of damage. That's my last... Last bit here, though. But their lord is almost dead. That's actually pretty awesome. I have a unit of harpies running away. Not too worried about that. Come on, let me take out their lord. That would be super awesome. Can I do it on myself? Nope. Oh, I guess you guys are in range. Guys, out of combat here. Advance, nope, 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 nope. Don't want to be fighting them. Their lord is dead. That's good. That's a that's a, that's a good thing. We got our murderous prowess also. Let's have them start shooting at. Them. Maybe charge in a little bit there. Again, knew I wasn't going to win this battle, but I'm doing a lot more damage to them than I was uh, thinking I was going to. Oh, you're running away. Dark riders, die, weaklings. Dark elves, going onwards to murder. We got this. Yeah, the um, bombardment spell to actually do really did uh, help me out a little bit. Look at that, killed like half their units. They outnumbered me by a, a whole lot. Come on, come on, come on. Battle ready. Forward. At once. Forward. Terror and death. You rape him. Pull back. On to slaughter. Orders. Chariots. With pleasure. To destruction! Bloody murder! Ooh, some of their units are actually losing leadership pretty quickly. They're crumbling. Yeah, they got some units crumbling. That's actually super awesome. If I can get you out of combat, that would be awesome. Oh, that's actually... Oh, you're out of ammo, that's why. Yeah, they're crumbling. They're crumbling. Full 
Full gate. Dark Rider crossbows. Chariots. Bloodlust. Beastmaster. Dealers in death. Oh, no, a lot of them are coming back now. Darn, 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 darn. Oh, no, no, they're crumbling again. Oh my gosh. Is there some sort of miracle happening now where they're actually... Oh no, they're coming back. See, they keep crumbling and then coming back and then crumbling and then coming back. They don't know what they want to do. Here, let's try to just knock a bunch of leadership off. Oh, all my harpies ran away. Yep, that, this is going to be it now. Unit is out of ammunition. That's okay. Bloody my blade hungers to destruction. We are ready. Carnage awaits. Beast master. Come on, come on, come on. Rider crossbows. Yeah, they're all crumbling. So if I can just deal with this one. Yeah, you got two units kind of crumbling. Three units crumbling. Yeah, leadership's basically going away. So this is, <laughs> this is the most unentertaining fight to watch, but... I can make this work. The merciless host. Lord. Dealers in death. The merciless host. Yeah, they're starting to crumble now too. Battle ready. Beast master. I'm just gonna hit the fast forward button to see if I can. Look at them crumbling. Oh my gosh, this is... Man, if I was playing this like in a, in a multiplayer battle, I'd be so upset. There's that, that, that unit's gone. Oh, I lost a unit now. Your unit's rallied though. Uh, <laughs> this, this is the worst. Oh, I feel so I feel so dirty doing it this way. Just kind of exploiting the um, the crumbling mechanic. How many is left in that unit? Fifty some. Yeah, they're gonna go away soon. How many left now? Thirty nine. Yeah, they're basically gone. Yep. So one unit left. How are we gonna do this? Let's have you guys charge in.
There we go. I lost the unit, though. They started crumbling, though. Oh, and my units have rallied. Oh, no, 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 no. I might have been able to do something here. But, uh, I think... You're not crumbling anymore. I think this might be it now. You're just, like, wavering. Oh, they're crumbling now, though. Get more Lord out of there. They are. Oh, Valiant Defeat. Oh, no. So close. So close. Oh, oh. But hey, that uh, that was fun. <laughs> that was uh, definitely how you uh, exploit the crumbling mechanic a little bit. But it uh, didn't quite work out. But I got close. And we'll see how much we have left after this battle. Uh, see how much they have left after this battle. And uh, yeah. Right, Valiant Defeat. I did get some slaves there. Um, so they, they have one unit left. I lost... I lost some, but I've still got some units left, so that's good. That uh, definitely could have gone worse. Uh, thankfully, it did not. Oh, did you? No, yeah, you, you pulled back now. Are you going to try to finish him off now? Is that the plan? What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. I don't like I don't want your plans and schemes and stuff. But I like I kind of like how the uh, AI. I'm not sure if they meant to do that, but they did kind of a uh, pull a little little trap for me there. That was interesting. All right. So you're raiding here. Are you going to hop in the water again? Nope. The okay. Oh, what would you like here? Uh, trade agreement? Sure, you'll pay me for it. Let's, uh... Okay, that's what you'll give me. They wouldn't give me any more. Looks like they're getting attacked over here. That's not going so well for them. All right, so ambusher discovered. Uh, we got ourselves a new item. Ability Black Egg. What does that do? Long, thin, expanding, tear-shaped attack. Strong versus multiple units. Good against armor. Ooh, cool. Ambusher discovered. Yeah, all these ambushers on the other side. We got ourselves a new town, so let us repair that. Look at that. We're up to 16,000 a turn now. Ooh, but we were losing a lot of slaves. Uh-oh, we need more slaves. What are we going to do with you? You know what we're going to do? We're just going to wipe you out. You're going to run away. Of course you are, because why wouldn't you? High beast master. We're just going to auto-resolve this. Don't think I'm really going to lose anything. Uh, let's get a little bit of treasury, sure. Um, and then we are going to level you up, because that's what you need. Actually, you had three levels last time that I didn't grab. Let's see... Let's grab a Sadistic Sea Dragon Cloak. Yeah, that'll be good. Sea Dragon Cloak will give us more armor. Sadistic will give us melee attack, armor piercing, and charge bonus. And then Root Marcher, of course, for the extra root marching. Um, can I grab anything here that I want? No. What level do you get before you get a Chariot? Nine? So you're almost there. We're going to come here. Actually, Marathi's going to leave the town. You're going to try to go into it. You can't. So we're going to just move you a little bit quicker so you can get into town to get a little bit more unit replenishment. And sure, you can't because you're route marching. Uh, mine range? I am. So Marathi's going to attack um, King Ashamos here. So we're going to do that in a second. Before we do that, let's take a look to see what else we got going on here. Um, 
Okay, let's upgrade the dark hold now. Increase you to increase um uh actually go to the main area here. Can I upgrade? Yeah, there we go. Um income from slaves. We'll upgrade that. And I'm actually gonna destroy one of these, I think. Not yet. Not yet. You're gonna stay here. So you're within range of all of it. You are going to sure, let's just try to assassinate this guy. After we caused fear when fighting against Tomb Kings. Ooh, a critical success. Ooh, are they critical successes? And we are going to grab. Um, sure, let's make you more elusive. And then Marathi is going to charge into uh, the king here. All right, so it's going to be a decisive victory from what we're looking at currently. But we are going to fight this one here because, yeah, you've got a bunch of... Uh, Nekahara warriors, some skeleton warriors, some skeleton spearmen, some bowmen. You shot through with great bows. Those guys are going to be dangerous, but we should be it should be all right. And I kind of want to see the blood uh, blood rack Medusa uh, on the battlefield. Kind of see how those go. Okay, so let's um, yeah, let's uh, see this one on the battlefield. All right, so we are going to oh gosh. Look at that. We're at 20 magic and 100 uh, power reserve. So we are just going to keep that. So let's start deployment. Um, take a look at our map here. Do, 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 do. Bolt throwers. We're going to switch the bolt throwers into that attack. Where are their you shop these? So we got their their carrion uh, out there. Where are the you shop you with great bows? Look at there. You shop you with great bows. Look at how big those bows are. They're as big as you shop the and you shop the is massive uh, compared to a regular skeleton. <laughs> compared to like these little tiny skeleton bows. These you shop the with great bows are just massive. They're kind of like um kind of like bolt thors. Alright. Um start shooting you guys right away. Uh you know I might do regular and try to take out the Ushopti first. Red spears. Dread spears are going to come up just here. The merciless host. You guys can come up behind. My... Oh! And I got my um, uh, Sisters of Slaughter now too. The Sisters of Slaughter and Witch Elves I'll put on this side. And the demonettes I'll put over here. Because they're good at flanking attacks. I've also got my uh, my dark pegasi. I got Marathi on her own pegasus. Yeah, sometimes it's so. There we go. I'll put you guys up here. Uh, and then we got the Bloodrack Medusae, who have a, a shooting attack too, it looks like. And are massive compared to say um, what they have for Age of Sigmar. Their models, their models are tiny compared to what uh, uh, these models are. These, are. these things are huge. Look at how massive that is. They look awesome though. Oh gosh, they look so cool. Okay. Actually, let's see what they can do. They have uh, a hybrid unit. Uh, they're mostly primary melee. But they have missile capacity, uh, high armor piercing missiles, anti infantry, and a decent melee combat. Seizure. They have uh, murderous prowess. They have wounds and they cause terror. Okay. And then they've got like a, a ranged attack here, probably turning people to stone. Put one on this side. And put one on this side. There we go. Start battle. Both doors. We're going to target the Shopti first. And Marathi, doing okay. And see, now they fire just one shot. But that one shot does so much more damage. Look at that. Look at that damage. Oop. Oh, gosh. They're fighting into my Medusae. Look, like we've already killed a couple. And they're crumbling already. Try 
try to take them out. All right, let's drop some of our uh, bombardment abilities. Where is that one not going? This one should be two lightning strikes now. Yeah, there we go. More lightning strikes. All right, Marathi. Time for a pit of shades right there. Actually, I got enough magic. I could probably uh, uh, actually like um, do more more casting of it. Like do it uh, a higher casting. Pit of shades is gone now. So much damage. Let's cast that on sure that unit there. Carrions are coming in. Let's get out here. Bolt doors. Who are we going to try to hit? Oh, let's try to hit them back here. Let us actually get you into combat here. I just realized I don't really... Ah, you know what? I can send Marathi into combat. But first, we are going to... Armor piercing damage and stuff like that. That right there. I have all of them. Attack one unit. <laughs> oh, you need to actually get in the combat to try to save yourself a little bit. Uh, Marathi... Uh, yeah, let's soul steal you, and let's actually just uh, charge into combat there. There we go. End battle. Victory is ours. <laughs> nice, quick, fun battle. Kind of show off some of our new units. Although I did take a look at the duels here. Um, the Sisters of Slaughter. So they get like whips and these cool mask stuff. Pretty awesome. All right, so let's end battle. All right, the sights of victory. Let us, yeah, let's grab um, army replenishment and 820 slaves. Although, I'm not going to lie, I have no idea how you get slaves from uh, um, uh, Tomb Kings. Makes no sense to me. Because, like, they all crumble and stuff at the end of the battle. But either way, let's grab that. Or maybe they, maybe they have, like, some, like, human slaves that help their army or something i don't know all right but we get, did get the armor of darkness and we get a new regiment of renown Ooh, which actually will go to you there we go uh marathi we are just going to which city are we going to take first let's take um their their main city here i watch from the shadows uh, Marathi leveled up also, so let's see what we're going to grab with Marathi now. Um, the Hag Sorceress ascends. That would have been nice for the last battle. Yeah, let's get income from raiding and stuff like that. Go down that line a little bit. All right, we do have a decent amount of funds here. Do you want to level anything up? For you. Nope, not quite yet. Let's see if there's another. What murderous lord. Another town that has something I can I can build. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, actually, you've got that. Mine resources, more control. Sure, why not? Get some extra control there. Um, and then... Kind of a waste, but either way... Oh, not slaves per turn. No, we don't want to do that. Yeah, it should be fine there. Ooh, although you're ready to go here. Can we make it? Here this turn? That'd be awesome if we could make it and start... Nope, can't quite. Can't quite make it. So let's just start channeling magic. If you do have a mage with us. And uh, that should be good. So it's end turn. And see what the enemy throws at us. So, I mean, we had one decent loss that uh, could have went better. Ooh, also, I gotta check to see if I can build, before I do anything else, build more, um... Uh, any other Slanesh units now? I would love to get maybe some Seekers. That would be awesome. Fiends would be the best, but I think they're a higher tier unit, so maybe not. Or even some, like, uh, even some Chaos... Warriors or Marauders of Slanesh would be kind of fun. You want a peace treaty, don't you? No, for 400? Gash, no. Oh, you are trying to attack me. Um, I actually think I'm going to start... I'm going to start the next episode with this battle. Um, so you are charging me, or you're trying to fight me outside of uh, this. So this is going to be... This is going to be fun, but I'm going to think I'm going to start the next episode uh, with this fight. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, things are going rather well, uh, well enough that they think they can come at me. Um, ooh, actually, this is this is going to be a tough one because they do have some um, higher tier units. I don't have a lot of range stuff, but we'll see if our, our magic uh, can win us the day. But thank you guys so much for watching uh, this episode. Don't forget, if you're liking this series, hit that like and subscribe button and all that fun stuff. And yeah, until next time, keep your stick on the ice.